Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming. This is the Walking Dead Countdown to Season 7 live chat debate midweek uh, live stream. I wasn't going to do a midweek live stream, but I got several people messaged me on Kick and said, I think we need to get together at least one more time before they start, start going over the uh, spoilers and everything else. Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming. So, got a little bit of uh, background sound there. Hope you guys that didn't come through too loud. All right, I think we got it figured out. A little bit of audio. So, just want to say what's up. I uh, see a lot of people just coming in right now. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted. Want to say what's up to Moody Girl. I saw you here early. Uh, Mankey, Soundwave, Tyler Johnson. A few other people are jumping in here. Got a few topics we're going to talk about. So, hopefully everything is coming through loud and clear. What's up, Natalie? Good to see you. I see a couple uh, new faces in here, which is good. So it, we're uh, we're expanding a little bit more. A lot has happened since the last time we streamed. Patriots won the Super Bowl. So no, not everybody here is a Patriots fan. We talked about that about a week ago. I did make my prediction. Wasn't 100% on the uh, on the score, but pretty close. So what's going on, Reckitt? Good to see you, George Morris. So let me lay the ground rules really, really quickly. You know, I know we do this every time. So these streams are, we just pick a colorful backdrop and we just go with it. So hopefully you guys like the uh, Lego version. I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit. The um, streams are all about you guys. I'm going to read your comments. We'll get on a topic. If I overlook you or I get a lot of uh, requests, don't take it personally. I'm going to try to read whatever I can, interact with as many people as I can. When the stream goes live, it would be awesome if you guys can actually get over there and leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up, do all those things. But a lot of people won't watch it live. They'll wait a couple days whenever their schedule uh, allows them to do that. So seeing the interaction is really, really important. So uh, thank all you guys for tuning in. So what's up? See a few new people. What's up, Decent? Uh, somebody just gave a shout out, said they love the channel. Well, thank you. Uh, this channel is made by each and every one of you. It's uh, I'm the host. I just kind of do it and sort of lead it along. Trenise is about to say, um, acknowledge me or see me or notice me or something along those lines. I know it's coming, so I'm going to go ahead and just call you out right now, Trinice. Uh Who else we got here? Recognize uh, Ovents. What's going on, Negan? Good to see you. Uh, the last live stream we did, we're not even in season. 5,000 people already watched that, so a lot of your comments, a lot of your interaction, other people are seeing it. So, Tyler Johnson, Kills, do you like the comics? I love it, Tyler. I am up to, hopefully you saw I just did the comic reading for issue number 23. We are rolling right along with that, so having a lot of fun. Um, good stuff. Who else we got here? So, you guys feel free, just kind of type your comments, your chat. That's what keeps this thing rolling. Tan Tan Gaming, what do you think of Mr. Wavy as your nickname? Um, don't think anything about it, but thank you. Uh, what else we got here? Search channel 99 this morning. Awesome. Matthew Todd, we appreciate you being here. So thank you. What's up? I don't know a name. So I'll get the, you know, I'll get the ball rolling. I'll pick a couple topics we'll talk about and you guys just sort of tag on. And yes, yeah, Sharon, 23 was pretty good. I enjoyed it. A lot of sound effects in there. So, uh, let's see. Yesterday I did a video, uh, Good and Evil. I brought up a lot of different topics. And one thing that just jumped out with me with the uh, most recent sneak peek is a couple snapshots of Eugene. Hopefully you guys got a chance to see that. Eugene is getting his confidence up. And that scares me a little bit. Because I like to think that Eugene is going to keep it together. And... He's got a master plan. He's going along with it right now just to keep everybody safe, that he'll turn on Negan. But the more I see it, it uh, looks like it's going to his head a little bit. Tyler Johnson kills Q&A. When Ezekiel let Carol Morgan in, do they normally, let's see, King Ezekiel and Shiva made an exception for them. I Hang on, Tyler. You lost me with that question. It looks like it's missing something. Let's go to Maria. Well, Tyler, just rephrase that. It looked like we were missing a little bit of your question there. So Maria kills. I have doubt the G, the Garbage Pail Kids are harmless, or will they betray the group they're fighting? I, I think they're neutral. I do think that, um, you know, they're one of those groups going to go to the highest bidder. And right now, Rick has Rick and group will probably have something to offer to help them out. 
But a little bit later on, I could definitely see them siding with Negan. Michaela is scared about the mullet man. Yeah, I am, I am too. I'm getting... I know I said Eugene wouldn't betray him, and I haven't totally went back on that yet, but I'm having some reservations on my theory there. Alex, is that a question? Alex is like, should I sub? No, do not sub to this channel. Do not. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Oh, we got some Walking Dead Road to Survival people. Ah, somebody beat me in a raid. So Decent Audio says the Garbage Pail Kids will double cross. I could see that happening. Yeah. Wreck it. Eugene will lose the mullet. He'll get a ponytail, but the question is, will he be uh, will he be on Negan's side or will he go back to Rick's side? Hunter Miller wants to know, does Morgan kill Richard? My sources say yes, he does. After Morgan gets Benjamin killed, or I'm sorry, after Richard gets Benjamin killed. Daryl give Richard the first beatdown. So, Daryl give him the first beatdown, won't kill him, but Richard does not stop with his master plan. He gets Benjamin killed, and I heard it is going to be referred to as Melon Gate. That those four melons they showed in the sneak peek, that that's going to be the reason. The shortage is going to be blamed on uh, Benjamin. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, there you go. So, Tyler, um, when Ezekiel and let Morgan and Carol into the kingdom, they usually let people in with open arms. I think they're selective. You know, I think, um, you know, they went through that. I mean, even remember the one-on-one -on -one with uh, Ezekiel talking to Carol, sort of opening up at the end when she was leaving. I mean, I do think they accept some people just because it's Ezekiel's nature, but, you know, they have a vetting process. Let's see, uh, Michaela, if you could revive anyone from the comics or the show, who would it be, not Glenn or Abe? Well, here's the thing, Michaela. I am only up to issue number 23 on the comics. As you guys know, I do some of the research on the comics, but I've not read full volumes of them, so I'm definitely catching up. So up to 23, who would I bring back? Um, maybe Shane. I don't know. Shane Shane was a little more sketchy to me in the comic, though, than he was. I liked him less in the comic than I did on the TV show. But yeah, I would like to uh, I would like to bring Abraham back. Next question, King Curry. Do you think Negan will kill Daryl? Not for a long, long time. I don't think he will at all. Maybe Daryl will die in the Whisper War. Maybe he won't die at all. Daryl could be the lone survivor. Uh, when will Ben die? Um, 12? 12 or 13, maybe. I'll have to look it up. It's a long... Angus wants to know if Glenn's son will avenge Glenn's death later. Um, that's a long, long ways away. So, thanks, Decent Audio. I appreciate that. Appreciate the love and the shout-out. Cross wants to know, do you think that Spencer's death was a big death or just a throwaway character to Rick's people? Um, wow, that's a good question. I don't think it was, I think it was a cool death because of the way it happened in the comic and the way it happened on the TV show. But I do think, um, I mean, I think it served its purpose. I think Olivia and, and Spencer were both wake-up calls more than anything else. What's up, Matrix boy? Shout out to all my moderators. Appreciate you guys being here. Uh, yes, Nola Nerd, a.k.a., um, wants to know, Will Glenn or Abraham make an appearance this half? 
the rumor is not for Glenn. The rumor is that Abraham will make an appearance in episode number sixteen. Come on, dude. Really? You got a you got a Minecraft logo, <laughs> and you're coming in talking all that trash, and I have to block you. Wow. Really? Anyway, all right, moving on from him. Just rude. All right. One less distraction we got to deal with. Gage wants to know, who do you think is the baddest character on the TV show, dead or alive? Wasn't Abraham? I mean, he definitely had to be one of the baddest. So, we're up to... Oh, what, 75 people here? So let me uh, just real quick throw some ground rules back out to a couple of additional people that are here. First of all, if you guys could move your mouse up, slap the like, slap the like button, that would be awesome. Also, uh, you know, just put your questions in chat. We're going to read through them. These streams are all about your questions and getting kind of your name out there a little bit more. A lot of people will watch this. So by the time this video actually goes live, we'll probably have about 500 people have either watched or checked in or checked out. I would anticipate, you know, five, six, seven thousand people are going to end up seeing this video. So your questions are important, you know, to the Walking Dead community. We're building up a really, really uh, nice community. So while we're formulating a couple more questions, and I'll get back to a couple of you guys and ladies. Um, Sunday will be three live streams. So Sunday morning, I will do my video game live stream, a group we always hang out with. It's usually about 11 o'clock Sunday morning when everybody's wide awake. So that'll be the Chill with Kill segment. So appreciate you. You know, if you guys are gamers, check it out. If not, it, it pretty much Walking Dead Road to Survival. Uh, some other gaming chat. Then around 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we are going to go with the uh, Spoiler Sunday. We had a really, really uh, good Spoiler Sunday a couple weeks ago. And then, of course, we're going to resume our uh, recap after the Talking Dead. So it's going to be a really busy day for me. I don't do, like, the reaction videos because I'm really into the... TV show and I want to get all the details to produce some videos a little bit later on the week to give us some conversation topics. But uh, we've had pretty good showing and especially the um, the recap after Talking Dead. We always have, I, I think there were times when we did that we had uh, 11, 1200 people, some of those streams. So a lot of good chat, a lot of good interaction and a lot of acknowledgement of uh, all of your ideas and all your thoughts. Logan, you know, we've addressed it a little bit. So Logan Productions wants to know, do we think Eugene is a betrayer? I'm still not 100% on that one. I, I've got an alternate theory. I, and I'll roll this out on you guys because it it's sort of been weighing on me a little bit. So I did a video a couple weeks ago and I said, Eugene will not betray the group. And I'm I'm trying to use a little bit of logic here. I think Eugene, you know, he was scared to death. He got taken captive. And but it, so I I thought he could use his influence and sort of fake it and sabotage Negan a little bit. But now that I'm starting to see it a little bit more, how he's liking the role and you know he's surrounded by all these good-looking women and he's getting attention in ways that he didn't get attention before. I'm getting a little bit worried. And what really worries me is that um, there's two rumors that are out there. One is that there will not be a cliffhanger. So. That could be, that's a little scary to me because the writers don't have time to really formulate what's going to happen next season. So here's the alternate theory. Feel free to, like, disagree. What if Eugene actually does betray the group? And in order to betray the group, so we know in around episode 15, I think, Sasha and Rosita are going to break in, or they attempt to break in to rescue Eugene. Rosita won't make it in. So there is going to be some interaction between Sasha and Eugene. So Sasha offers to rescue him. So either A, he turns it down. B, he turns her in, which would be a real interesting dynamic. Or C, because we know at some point Sasha is probably dying. She may um, get stabbed, get the bag over her face, you know, Holly's role. What if C, Negan asks Eugene to kill Sasha to prove his loyalty? Wouldn't that be the ultimate betrayal? And then we know there's these flashbacks that are possibly going to happen with Abraham 
imagine that like the ultimate that wouldn't betray the group that would betray every ounce of fiber that Eugene has ever had I mean his his buddy his life partner is basically Abraham so imagine Eugene stabbing Sasha oh so I don't know it, there's not a lot of spoilers on episode number 16 right now there's really really descriptive spoilers all the way up to 15 so there's a lot of different speculation that could happen in the season finale. We'll know a little bit more. But anyway, if that happens, it's just, you know, my mind is running wild a little bit. Like, what if? Wouldn't that be like the ultimate? And it wouldn't be a cliffhanger because you'd know, like, oh, boy, he just turned. So. Long, drawn-out description. But, hey, it's... Just a little bit of thought. So anybody who watches this in playback, they're going to get like a, you know, prediction slash spoiler. What's up, Dayzeho? I'm trying. I'm trying with your name there. Not sure that I got it. Dark Knight 85. What's up? All right. Let's throw a few more questions in there. Cause definitely want to get some of your chat, some of your comments. Thank you, Georgie. Georgie 3421. Lots of love there. I saw it, man. I saw it. So all about the uh, 999 love. Appreciate it. So Angus, hey, Kills, do you think The Walking Dead would be better on HBO? You know, I don't know. I There's not nothing I dislike about it. Leo plays, loves the background. Well, thank you. Yeah, Grandma1447. Um, don't like the theory and can't see Eugene doing that. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we can agree to this. I just want to get something kind of, you know, I'm thinking like diabolical type of writing. Wouldn't the writers just really freak everybody out if they did something along those lines? Negan is all about proving loyalty. What? How did that even happen? Above ground ruler, what side character will die next? I mean, I guess you could classify Benjamin as a side character. Thank you, Mikey King. I <laughs> appreciate it. Trinice, my answer to that question is Abraham. Let's see. Tyler, Kills, if you had to pick a third person to die in the lineup in the premiere, who would have been? Wasn't two enough? Well, the first thing is, if, if I had to pick one person, it would have been Rick. Because I think you just accomplish everything by killing Rick. So I don't know I could pick a third. I, you know, I didn't want to see Glenn and Abraham go. Just kill Rick. Get it over with. Everybody will kind of fall in place at that point. All right, let's get a couple more questions in here. Why has Rick not lost his arm yet? No, nah, he's not going to lose his arm on the TV show. There's a lot of differences. There are so many differences. You know, here's the thing I'll, I'll kind of divulge with you guys. When I was doing some of the theory videos earlier, when Abraham, um, back in April of last year, when I was really a um, strong advocate of Abraham and Glenn dying, and, and part of the reason was I had a strong conviction it was Abraham, but then the comic fans said it has to be Glenn, it has to be Glenn. And I couldn't really disprove a lot of what the comic book fans were saying because I was an avid comic book reader. Now I can say I am. You know, not all the way up through it, but... By the time we get into the season, I'm probably going to be caught up with the comics. There are so many differences, and I can't believe I ever listened to the comic book argument that Glenn has to die because it was like that in the comics. When so much is different from the TV show and the comics, so many characters are different, it is like night and day. There is a, there is a basis for it. There are some... Um, some of the events do happen over and over again, but they're with different people. But, I mean, one of the ones that's blowing my mind right now is uh, Michonne's character. 
in the comic and on the TV show. It is like night and day. They aren't even the same character. So much different. Um, same backstory, but just the demeanor of the character. Like she's so in the in the TV show, very classy. Uh, you know, conducts herself. You know, has that loyalty to Rick. But in the comic, she's out there, man. Um, Cornelius, I am getting a screen just full of questions left and right. So you're going to have to type it again because there's been a lot of questions that have been asked. So East Coast Air Softer. Kills, what's your prediction for the first episode of the second half? So this isn't a prediction. I mean, this is actually spoiler stuff. So we do know that um, Rick and group will make it up to see Ezekiel. Uh, we also know that Ezekiel is going to turn down the group and that's going to set Richard's plan in motion. Father Gabriel kidnapped by the person in the boots and the binoculars who is one of the leaders of the Garbage Pail Kids. So that's pretty much the gist of it. A lot of conversation, a lot of filler stuff to get them up. I don't know there is a, I don't think there's a death. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's a death in the first episode. Good question, though. Is the girl from Oceanside going to take the role of Sasha when she died? That is a good question. Um, Cindy, right? I think I, I can see her next season being a real, real strong character. So, yeah, I don't know if she'll take Sasha's role per se. I think she'll be with the group and she'll create her own identity. Question, why does everyone Maggie loves die? Because that's the way it is. Maggie's been through a lot. All right, let's get a few more questions in here. We are rolling right along. Good question. Above ground ruler, what happened to Heath? You, hey, that's that's a mystery for everybody right now. Don't know. That is a real, real tight-lipped spoiler. Maybe we see him in all-out war next season. I got a feeling that'll be a little bit of a carryover, that we'll get a little bit of a storyline in the first episode of season eight. Yeah, good question. So Decent Audio wants to know, Dirty Dave, what was role, um, what will his role be in the show? Um, absolutely. My boon says, do you lift kills? You don't even lift, bro. Yeah, a little bit. Um, decent audio. I think that Davey's role is going to be very similar. The only wild card to that is Eugene. And, you know, with my kind of Eugene, it, it's not a theory. It's just I'm brainstorming at this point whether Eugene will be involved in turning Sasha over or even killing Sasha. But I do think Davey tries to make his move on Sasha. And then if Negan does not kill him, Sasha might actually kill him. So will Enid be the replacement for Sophie? It appears in some parts, yes. With the Carl relationship, right? No, Alana, I don't think they may, I don't think it's going to get that far. And I don't think they're even going to insinuate it. I do think that everybody, we've already laid the groundwork. Everybody knows Davey is creepy. So he doesn't need to actually go through with anything for people to get the gist of what his intentions are. So I think just, uh, you know, him going into her prison cell or closing a door is going to be enough to 
freak people out that I don't think you'll have to go through with anything. I would be shocked if they actually, that played out. Especially, I I, I don't think they're going to give her a um, demoralizing situation or a uh, put her in that awkward situation when her character is about ready to leave. I think they'd actually let her kill Davy before she dies because I, I think they're going to want her to go out on a on a higher note if there's a way to do that with that character. I don't think they're going to demean her character by having her assaulted and then you know, killed. It'd just be my opinion. Um, Maria wants to know, will Oceanside stay with the group and agree? I think there's going to be some resistance with Oceanside from what I've heard. Um, it's a little bit... Um, they're not going to voluntarily say, hey, come in and take our weapons. There's going to be some convincing. Could actually be some fighting with that group before they agree to. Yeah, Daryl did get a new crossbow. It's a good question. How did Daryl get his new crossbow? I'm sure, you know, Ezekiel had something. Ezekiel's got a little stash. I mean, keep in mind, these guys have weapons. So, maybe it was a gift. Does Negan kill kids? Um, there was the... I wouldn't put it past him. I don't think his his uh, motivation is to kill women or kids. But they did say something last season about a 16-year-old. So, yeah. This is a different Negan. Dark Knight wants to know, who is Negan going to kill? Negan is going to kill our doctor. We'll throw that out there. So this question has come up quite a bit too. This is uh, a little bit of discussion. So we will find out that Sherry... See, and this is what's cool with this, is because we weren't sure which side, which team Sherry is on at this point. She basically looked like she was trying to help Daryl, but then, you know, we saw her and Negan share kind of that passionate kiss moment. And then we're not sure, you know, where her loyalty stands. So we do find out that Sherry wrote the note. But the doctor is going to, to keep anything from happening to Sherry, which makes us wonder, potentially, could Sherry be pregnant? Which that would create a, a real interesting storyline. Because if she is, that would push Dwight over the edge, I think. And also, the doctor wouldn't want anything to happen to her because she's been under his care for some reason, the doctor takes the fall for Sherry. And when you see that group in the trailer, uh, Negan's going to kill the doctor. And then evidently they have to go up to yeah, Phoenix. Benjamin's 100% confirmed. Um, they'll have to go to Hilltop and they take the other doctor. And I think Negan almost discovers Maggie and someone else. Maybe Maggie and Sasha. Yep, true. Yep, a lot of the kids over 12 were shot. So another question is, let's see, Deborah Peters, is there any truth that Abraham was seen on set? Could that be a death scene for Sasha? Yes, definitely. Um, we mentioned that a little bit ago. It could be a death scene for Sasha. It could be a flashback for Eugene. Eugene looks possessed. I I think they're going to be... Well, you'll see this because I do a lot of Hidden Clues videos. I think you're going to see a lot of biblical type of references in this coming season. I mean, I've already seen it. The whole you know dark shadow around Eugene. He looks evil. And then the fire. And then you know the girls dressed all in black. Um, kind of like what? Succubus? Or what would, what would succubus be plural? Succubi? I don't know. <laughs> I think I just made up a word. Succubus is like female demon type of things. So Eugene could lose it. 
So what if that flashback is uh, Eugene, you know? St. Abraham talking to him. No, but more likely, someone's going to kill Sasha and then Abraham will have a flashback scene. I've, I've heard that as well. Hey, flower girl. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. we got a good group tonight. A lot of good questions. Sam Williams finally made it to a live feed. Just got it. Hey, welcome. Glad you're here. They're not, they're not harpies, Michael. Harpies are the, are the good version. Yeah, I think it's suck -a, suck a by right? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Anyway, you get the gist of it. You know what I'm talking about. Crinkly kills. When do you think Ezekiel and the kingdom agree to all-out war? Let's try around um, 15. Or 14. Right after Benjamin dies. Benjamin's the catalyst. I Now that I, I predicted long before the spoiler sites came out. I think that was maybe three months ago. No, it wasn't three months ago. It might have been two months ago. The season was probably still going on, but um, I definitely predicted that Benjamin would be a catalyst for everything. It, it's too predictable. Um, Ezekiel has the responsibility of looking over him. Morgan. So think of all the people that are tied to Benjamin. And he's, he's innocent. So that innocent loss of life is going to be what really pushes Ezekiel toward helping out. So cool. Good question. You're welcome. What's up, Muse? Thanks for joining. Wow, the a lot of the 999 army is here. And see, we just threw this together. So once again, if you guys are just joining the live stream, this was not something that was put together last week. It was very just impromptu. Uh, a few people had messaged me on Kick and said, we need a countdown. We need just a little bit more discussion before we get there. I think people are just kind of, they're ready to see the episode. And, you know, and, and I'm probably as guilty as everybody else. There's just a lot of spoiler channels on YouTube that's just recycling a lot of the same information. And so we've seen it. We'll probably get one or two. <laughs> What's up? If, if you guys, um, I don't know if you guys play Walking Dead Road to Survival, but hopefully you see Freddy's Ready just joining. Check out some of his videos as well. Um, a lot of people here are Walking Dead TV enthusiasts, a few comics. But I probably, there could be 15, 20 people that actually play Walking Dead Road to Survival. So, uh does really good YouTube videos for the game, so give him a shout out as well too. Very creative videos. Um, so thank you for being here. Shane, Daryl is punching Richard. Confirmation. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Sarah. You guys are awesome, man. Appreciate uh, appreciate all the love. But I will tell you that if you guys want to see a really, really good crowd, and this was midweek, so you know I was expecting a couple hundred people, you know, in and out. But like I said, by the time this video posts, I'm going to say we're probably going to have 600 people have watched it. So at any given time, we get, you know, 100 people, and then 10, 15 will leave, 10, 15 will come back on. So it's it's always kind of revolving, and you know they can't watch a whole 45 minute episode. So I get it. But on Sunday nights, we I would imagine we'll have anywhere between 700 to 1,200 people simultaneous. And the questions and the comments, they just, whew, it's just scrolling. So, yeah, don't be offended Sunday night if I can't get to your question. I'll try to get to whatever I can get to. But there's just so many good ideas out there. So Sunday is going to be very intense. 44 Portly, first time here. Thank you. Glad you're here, man. And I'll, I don't want to kind of dwell on too much, but I'll give you guys a little bit of the gist of, uh, of the channel and a little bit of what we do in a second. I, you know what, I'll just cut. we got a few more people here. Several people said it's the first time here. So here's a little bit of the deal. We do gaming videos. You know, of course, mostly pertains to Walking Dead. Really good network. Gaming's not for everybody, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we also do, obviously, the theories during the week. So you'll see some hidden clues from me. You'll see different spoilers. I'll try to warn you when it's a really, really locked down spoiler. And sometimes I'll just take a concept. A lot of the concepts from videos, 
come out of these streams. So I'll see something that we talk about that's a people want to see a little bit more on, and we'll make a video. And the biggest part, the thing that I'm enjoying the most, is actually the live streams and the interaction because uh, whether it's Sunday night, whether it's pre pre game, we're talking about it. Post game, whether it's a big death and everybody's getting together, it's just uh, it's just good interaction. And this channel is made up by all of you guys, so it, it's grown quite a bit. And I see some of the faces that have been here for a year, but uh, you know, keeps growing. It's going to be because of everything that you guys do. So awesome, thank you. Um, Jill. Lynn Salato says, hello, nice to be here. Is Kara going to be mad at Daryl for not telling her about Glenn and Abraham? I think someone's going to tell her. I, I know the spoiler sites are saying that Daryl doesn't do it, but she's going to find out at some point. Whether it's Daryl, I don't think she'll be mad at Daryl. I think she'll understand that when Daryl first meets her, if he doesn't tell her, there's a reason. But she's going to find out. What's up, Michelle Yang? Michelle, are you procrastinating today? So there's another one of my subs. If you guys want some uh, makeup tutorials, check out uh, Michelle Yang's channel as well, too. A lot of cool people. I mean, I know a lot of you guys kind of do your, do your own thing, but uh, we got some creativity. But, yeah. Flower Girl, you have been here for a while. I've seen you in a lot of streams. But, yeah, this group... Uh, Sarah wants to know, how does Ben die? Saviors kill him. Don't think it's Negan. But, I hope it's not that heavy metal dude. I, I don't want that. I need that guy to be shot by Richard. Mr. Dynamite says, will there be another cliffhanger at the end of the season? I think... Some of maybe as Gimple or somebody went on record saying they're not going to do another one like that. I could see a minor cliffhanger. I think the minor cliffhanger will be Sasha. You know, I got a feeling episode 16 will end with Sasha with a bag over her head and Negan saying something like, let's go to war, you know, something along those lines. Lindsay is at work. Awesome. Thank you for watching from work. Hope you don't get in trouble. You're not like streaming up all their Wi-Fi. Nolan Nerd. Shout out kills. First time live chat, long time subscriber. Thank you, man. Thank you for being here. You guys, uh, you guys make me want to do this stuff. It's cool getting together and, and just talking with an awesome group of people. Mary. Mary says, do you think Eugene is going to leave the group? I mean, that's a complete waste of comic storyline. Yeah, it is, to a degree. And, and Mary, like I said, I don't fully know Eugene's comic storyline. I do know, you know, he gets rid of the mullet, becomes a real, you know, bad dude. Bad hombre. Uh, sorry, that's probably not what anybody wants to hear at this point. Um, but he could be a bad dude for Negan. And wouldn't that be just a... a a neat television show twist. I mean, keep in mind, there's so many differences from the comics, it would not put it past me for uh, Dwight to go over to Rick's group and Eugene to, to turn. I mean, what does he have at this point? I, I know it's not popular, so but I'm just throwing it out there because, honestly, somebody has to have the guts to say it. I don't know that there's a lot of other YouTubers, or maybe it's just because I'm, I'm just crazy like that. So I have not put it in full theory form yet. Until I do it on a video, well, I guess this would constitute as sort of a video because it's a live stream and we are talking about it. But give me a couple weeks. If I put it in a video that I fully think that Eugene is going to turn and he's going to be one of Negan's right-hand man, then, then you'll know I'm on board with it. I'm still kind of thinking about it. Just have an open mind toward it because it would be the type of plot twist that would just make us all like take a step back and say, I, I didn't see that coming. And I think they do need some, you know, some things that people don't see coming. Oh, please, no. So Turbinate says Sasha will bite Rosita. That, that can't happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be quoted. Yeah, I gotta watch what I say, you know, because if 
I'm going to throw some things out there in a live stream. It's going to come back on me. Uh, it's a good question. Weird Walking Dead Theories wants to know, Kills, who do you think that uh, Sasha will bite? I'm hoping it's Tobin. I mean, somebody like Tobin that I ain't going to miss too much. But it's a good question. I don't think they're going to lose any body parts. <laughs> Thanks, Dark Knight. Appreciate that. He would, wouldn't he? So, uh, yeah, you know, I see Eugene would have to really grow a set if he were to be Negan's right-hand man. But doesn't it kind of look like that? Lindsay, that's, that's a great point, too. Um, that's why I'm hoping it's Tobin, because if it's Eric, it's gonna, you're going to see a different side of Aaron. Could be Tara, but Tater Quinn says Sasha will bite Sasha. If Tobin dies, if Tobin dies, we die it. <laughs> All right. Well, we definitely wouldn't riot. Tyler Johnson kills. What's your favorite action word from the comics? I think it's probably thunk. Because I don't know how thunk can be a a slice, but yeah, there's some cool action words there. Really, we're doing a Walking Dead stream, and uh, this dude wants to know how much I weigh. Four fifty, five hundred, easily. What what difference does it make how much I weigh? I can use your imagination. I can weigh whatever you'd like for me to weigh. All right, let's get back to some Walking Dead questions. Gawang, yeah. Uh. Real quick, I did this in the last one, um, kind of a roll call type of thing. How many, some of you guys have already finished the whole comic group, so I get it. How many here are uh, checking out the comics, or checking out my readings of the comics? Just curious. Those are a lot. When I, when I asked this question, I think during the last live stream, there were a lot of people chiming in. I was just surprised that so many people had already read them and going back to sort of seeing my reaction to them. Because I can honestly tell, I have not read a complete, other than the 23 that I've read, I've done some research and gotten some panels of, you know, this happens, and, you know, I know issue 100, I know how the beatdown happens, and Spencer's death, and a couple other things. But, yeah, I've, I've never read a complete comic of The Walking Dead until I started these. Because of you guys, and, and that's, wow, it's like, me, 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 me. Um, the only reason I did those is because of everybody here. I was... I, it got talked about over and over again, like kills, um, do a reading, you know, do some of those things. And once I did the first couple, I got, honestly, I got addicted to it. So. So good stuff. All right, let's get some more questions in here. We are running about, we're about 43 minutes right now. So we'll go another three or four minutes. If these run, you know, what I should have did, we should just do a marathon and, I should stream this video between now and the next three days. That would be like a crazy, I don't know how long YouTube would let me stream live. Would they let me do like a four-day stream? That would be pretty incredible. I Yeah, I don't think I could talk quite that long. At one point, I think I might try that. I might just like devote a whole, nah, I don't think I can do it. Actually, you know what, I'm not even going to suggest. I was going to say devote like a 24-hour marathon to Walking Dead and just talk and kind of have people chime in and out, but I'd be dead after like an hour, maybe maybe an hour and a half max. Bill Cam says, I think Sasha will bite Heath. We don't even know where Heath is. YouTube. It'd be like a filibuster. 
Hey, you know what? As long as you don't bring up historical readings, then I guess you know they would allow me to keep talking. But as soon as I bring it up, then uh, I'm going to be asked to sit down. My filibuster would be over. 75 sub special, 75k sub special, a 12-hour marathon. You guys, you guys can handle 12 hours. MTZ Master, who do the boots belong to? They belong to the leader of the Garbage Pail Kids. This we know. Weird Walking Dead theories. Kills, will we get the whispers on TV? Absolutely. I'm going to say that there will be some uh, Easter eggs in the second half of the season. That's going to push us a little bit more toward the whispers. We've been looking for it. You know, A lot of us YouTubers have been like looking for every clue we possibly could. We thought we found a couple, but yeah, we thought wrong. I don't think there's been anything concrete yet. Would the worst song ever be back, Easy Street? Michelle, you can sing Easy Street, right? Is Michelle still here? I haven't seen her in a little bit. Yeah, Morgan's on borrowed time, Joey. I mean, we know he's dead already. So, it'd be awesome if he did make it through. Yeah, Flower Girl, you will. But it'll probably be during the summer. It won't, and more than likely it won't be during the, uh, the Walking Dead streams. It'll be, um, looking to set up a vlog, but we're going to wait on that. I'm just not that, uh. I'm not that vain yet that I want to carry a camera with me all day long, but I'm getting a lot of requests for it. So I may do like, hey, this is what I'm doing this weekend, a type of thing. But it's not going to be um, during the streams because it's just faster, more convenient for me to just set this up, do radio, and not do anything special, just kind of talk to you guys. And it's more about the interaction. What's up, Sarah? You were noticed. Muse can sing. <laughs> Lindsay, really? Easy Street? I, You know what? I hadn't even thought of Easy Street until someone brought it up just a minute ago. So, Alana wants to know, what other YouTubers do you watch? I really don't. Um, I'll catch a video here or there if it's something that I mean, I know of the people that are out there doing a lot of the same stuff. Every once in a while, I'll catch one of Ronnie's videos. Um, I've seen a couple of Trev's videos. I don't watch them religiously, though, because I, I don't want to be influenced by them. Like, I want to see something and or see one of your comments, because a lot of times a spoiler will come out or something will come out, and everybody jumps on it, and then we see three of the same videos, and you'll hear, like, well, you got this from such and such and such and such. So I don't really like to kind of get into what other people are doing. I like to sort of put our own twist on everything. And that's why you guys are so vital to a lot of streams because now I will, um, I'll take your comments and sort of say, oh, that's an interesting comment. Let's make a video and talk about that because I think it'll create dialogue. But the reason that I'm doing a lot of these things is because I want the interaction with you guys. That's what kind of keeps me motivated. It's just a conversation. But I, you know, every once in a while I'll see a richest video or something like that. Ruben the best. What's up, Ruben? So, Maboon says, Kills do impressions of the characters in your comic readings. It's a little tough. Because I don't, you know, I don't think I can do a Lori voice. Um, there, you know, there's a couple. Like, I tried to do an Otis voice. And then somebody said, that's probably exactly the way Otis would sound. That's spot on. So, yeah, it's, but that was just a slower version of my natural voice, I think. Uh, Tyler kills. Uh, what well, I, I guess everything's open season because we were going to talk mainly about the TV show. But Tyler says kills. Why don't you curse in the comic book readings? Well, mostly because I don't curse a lot anyway. I mean, I don't without cause. I, somebody asked me that before. If I drop something on my foot, you're probably going to hear something along those lines. But if it's not in natural conversation, I'm not going to read it line for line. And I also have 
some younger viewers and some people said, hey, you know, we appreciate you kind of keeping it. I'm more interested in the plot than I am the actual words. And I think a lot of times you can just substitute something. Yeah, I'm not, you know, there's, I do know, and I've, I've heard comments from other people, there's people that just on, do videos and just every other word is a cuss word. And that's all they, I guess it draws attention. I don't want to draw that type of attention. Do I have a swear jar? Uh, no, I don't. If I did, it wouldn't. Uh, it wouldn't have a lot in it. Well, you know, Moody. I think that's part of it. She's like, "Why be rude with language?" You know, kids are watching. That is one piece of it. But the other thing is, if we were all hanging out, let's say we're at Comic Con, and there's a hundred of us, and it's normal conversation. I'm not going to walk up and just start, hey, this, 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 and this. It's just not natural conversation for me. It would be, it would just be normal. So, it, you know, what you get here, you know, what, what you hear is what you get, I guess. And sometimes a lot of the language takes away from the message. Even in the comic, sometimes it takes away from the message. Because I can use that time to really focus in on what the plot is. So, anyway, long answer, but that's it. It will be a challenge when <laughs> Negan is introduced in the comic. So I don't know... I'm not going to read it line for line. I mean, people can read it. They can see the panels, right? But I may make it just more... I may have to make up some words for Negan. A flippity flop. I, I don't know. What are we going to What are we gonna say? Well, stick around for another 70 episodes, I guess. You know, whenever he's introduced. And then we'll see how we, uh, how we do. Good question, though. Thanks. That's a good question. Cornelius wants to know if I actually have those Legos. Hmm. I'm going to let you... You know what? That'll be like a cliffhanger. I'll let you think about that. Maybe when I do the first vlog, that'll be... I'll kind of just scroll around and show the Walking Dead collection. So Matthew Sanson, Sansom, sorry. Hey, Kills, glad I caught one of your live streams. So I'm glad that you joined the live stream. Thank you for being here. So we're going to wrap this up in the next three minutes. You guys got some more questions, throw them up there. And then what I'll do, as typical for these videos, we're going to give shout-outs. This is a pretty long live stream. It was, like I said, it was just kind of thrown together. It's an hour. Time really flies. And the reason these are so fun so easy to do is because you guys keep the comments coming. So we do these. Keep those comments rolling. If you guys have not slapped the like button, do me a favor, hit the like button. And uh, yeah, it shows me a lot of appreciation, but also shows a lot of appreciation to the people that are making this possible, which is all of you, and the people that are going to be doing that. So, you know, because I, I get that all the time, and I guess it's just common curiosity. You know, people with the vlogs, like, what do you drive? How much do you weigh? What do you look like? You know, all of those things, and yeah. So one day I'll just carry a phone around. You guys can just kind of see everything. But for now, we're focused on The Walking Dead. Um, let's see. Mr. Warman, you should read volumes instead of... It would take too long to do that. I'd rather kind of stick with one at a time. I do have a um, playlist in the volumes. So if you check out my channel, you can actually see. If you want to you know, check out six at one time, you can do it. The guy said, say my name. And I already did it. Ruben the best uh, about five minutes ago. One of your questions. So, awesome. See, like, 12 more people just kind of hit that. Pirate girl. How did Garbage Pail Kids make the complex armor for the walkers? That should be revealed. Um, somebody asked about the next episode. So, Rick will fight down. He will beat down a walker. I think they test him. 
that's going to be the way he kind of gains a little favor with the Garbage Pail Kids. And I think they, they cut some kind of deal that Rick does have to bring them something. I think he's going to bring them some weapons. Star Star, will Carol die? Good question. Um, not this season. Michael Ross, what character from Walking Dead are you most like? Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm... Well, you guys know me. You guys should answer that question. I always get some funny answers with this. So here you go. Let's leave it to the group, and then I'll do some shout-outs. So those of you that have been subscribers for my channel for a year and have listened, have seen the rant videos, have heard the comic book readings, have seen the theories... You guys leave in the chat right now, which Walking Dead character do you think that I am most like? And that'll answer uh, Michael's question. And as you guys type the answer to that question, that will be the last thing that we'll discuss today. And I'm going to give shout outs right after that. As a reminder, once again, gaming fans, Sunday morning, chill with kills. Tomorrow we'll have some videos up. Saturday morning we'll have a couple things up as well too. I always get Judith. Really, you, you're going to throw me out there like that, Tyler. Uh, Sunday spoilers, and also the real cool one is going to be Sunday night. Abe. Just Glenn, maybe. Olivia, there you go. So Tyler has me pegged as Olivia and also um, Judith. Appreciate that. I'm getting a lot of Abe's. Abe, yeah, and maybe Abe in personality, right? <laughs> Rick, Merle. Eagle Eye, come on. Dirty Davey, really? You going you gonna to put me out there like that? All right, here we go. Good stuff, everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys all being here. Awesome stuff. Even when we throw it together last minute, really cool stuff. So if you want to shout out, leave it in the comments. I'm going to start hitting a few of your names. Before you even ask for it, so Woods420, thanks for being here. Weird Walking Dead Theories, Pirate Girl, Lindsay Luke, thank you as well. George Morris, Cornelius Jones, Bob Berger, you finally made it. I saw you sneaking there. Atomic, what's going on? Moody Girl, Maboon, Grandma, 1447, Tyler Johnson, Julia T, L, Industriano, Ender Universe, Muse, thank you for being here as well too. El Cucuy, that means the boogeyman in Spanish. I know that because I saw it on Grimm. Aria, thank you for being here as well too. Awesome. Corey Shovel Snow. Hopefully you're not shoveling too much snow right now. Sharon Jackson. What's up? Sorry Miss Jackson. I am for real. Flower Girl. Awesome. Oh, somebody wanted a popsicle shout out. I think that was Tyler Johnson is like a popsicle on a hot day. Thank you for being here. Perfectly Grimes. Thank you. Michael Ross. Appreciate you being here. Excellent commentaries. Appreciate your chat. Good stuff man. Didn't want you to go unnoticed. Challenge Chosen. Awkward Tony. All right, it's just going too fast now. Pippin Jr., Khalid Selman, Ja Wood, Seth Rollins. Thank you. All right, I'm not going to be able to hit everybody. So if I missed you, go over. Maria, thank you. Much love, Maria Verdugo. I'm trying my best on your name as well. I think I hit everybody. John Wampler. All right, we're in this video in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Peace.